Big long yeah. hill. Same with me. I lost them all. I had them all one time. Those bluebird records. I believe the best somebody stole them. Don't you Is think they the invented thing? bluegrass? Sure. What? They, they invented mountain music. There ain't no such a damn thing as bluegrass. Well, I don't know. Now, I mean, bluegrass it's is... It's all mountain music. Yeah, 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 but, yeah, but that, that bluegrass has got... Blue, bluegrass is mountain music and overdrive. Uh, what do you think about the old quarter primer? <laughs> huh? What do you think about the old quarter primer? Oh, wow. Well, oh, boy. That can't be me. No, no, no. You know, there ain't never been nobody kick a guitar and sing like that. I'm going to You know, the story about that is that, that it, he, he knew his wife didn't love him. All right? And every time they, and when he made all those records, he was sitting looking right at her, and the tears were running down her cheeks, cause he, he was hey, singing those love time, he was singing those love songs, and it was no, he knew there was no hope that she would never love him. Yeah. True. Did you know that? Yeah, the part. Did See, you know that? Uh, did you ever hear that story? I never, 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 never heard that story, but it's uh, true though. True. When he, he used to broadcast from over in Mexico. I lived in Texas. We heard him. All, we were all raised on. He broadcast from over the border, yeah. advertising Dr. Brinkley's uh, cure all for everything. You know, goat glands. Yeah, I was going to tell Dr. Brinkley. He's from Texas, anyway. Mm -hmm. Right. But they ran him out of the country and put him over in Mexico, and he was broadcasting over there. And the Carter family was his main thing. And so he was on the Carter family. And all. And they said when he's in that studio, he was sitting up there crying his eyes out and, and singing. That's yeah. why the song sounds so convincing. The Lord don't pick up guitar too. I tell you, Ooh, there ain't wow. nobody come up with it no. yet. Well, Man. that's right. Get well, you made the next good bastard, you know. Are we going? Yep. Well, um, which was your favorite song? You mean you like that one about moonshiner, moonshiner for seven long years? I have made all my money on whiskey and beers. I'm going on some I'm going on some mountain and I'll set up my still. I'll make you one gallon for a five dollar bill. <laughs> no <laughs> wife for to plague me, no babies to ball. Lord, a life without women is the best life of all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what, what song did you like by the Carter family cast the best? Well, I like several of them. The Wildwood Flyer is one that I like. Wildwood Flyer? Yeah. And Diamonds in the Rough? Yeah, I've got them. Lula Walls? Mm hmm. Sweet Turn? Jimmy Brown? Wall Base Cannonball? Mm hmm. And Wade Manor, Wade Manor, what, what are some of the good ones he had out? He had out the drunken driver, didn't he? And he's coming to us dead. He, he'd sing that one. Well, now, we don't know who anybody here is. Now, this is uh, Ray Fairchild, and he is reputed to be the fastest banjo player that there is in the world and that ever has been. Uh, we're going to hear him tonight down in the stomping grounds, and with him is his daddy in law. Your name is uh, Kaz McGahey. Kaz McGahey. Yeah. That McGahey. sounds Irish to me, McGahey. That's my name. Uh huh. I uh -huh. mean, that's what the name is. And you all are both uh, have Indian blood, don't you? Yeah, we're half Indian, both of us. Uh huh. Well, what happened to the Indians down here in this smoky country? They had this long, sad story about that, didn't they? Yeah, they their book out called The Trail of Tears, I want to tell you all about it. Uh-huh. Uh, when, when they marched them into Oklahoma, you know, there's a few hid out in the mountains and stayed. Uh-huh. They stayed hid over there, and then they just started multiplying from that few that stayed hid from them. Uh-huh. But they marched most of the Cherokees across into Oklahoma and killed lots of women and children, you know, in their marches. Uh-huh. And what, are the in, what have the Indians been living on in, since then? And, well, they, for a long time, they just had to live off the land, mm -hmm. buddy, you know, just, but now it's just got just like anybody else, you know, mm -hmm. they've got into factory work and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Are you proud of your Indian blood? Yes, sir. Definitely. Does it give you something that, that gives you a, a character and a feeling that nobody else has, you think? I just feel like that they're true American. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh, 
You know, there are lots of people that wonder why folks stick down in the mountains where the land is so steep you have to, you just have to take a little plug out and all the pumpkins will roll down the hill into the sack. It's sort of, it's so hard to live down in here. I mean, you have to work hard and do without. Why do folks stay in the mountains, you figure? What's the, what's the draw of the mountains? What's well, the pull of the mountains? It, it's something, something gets you in your blood. They ain't, I want, I want to be nowhere else. You, you, you have to work hard anywhere. I tell you in the what, flat country or anywhere, you have to work. It's not just in the mountains. one thing cooler back in these mountains. It's cooler. Mm -hmm. Nerves lighter. And you can breathe better. Mm -hmm. You can down in these low countries. Mm -hmm. And a mountain girl, there ain't nothing like a mountain woman, Alan. Mm -hmm. They'll never be, they never be equal to a mountain woman, no. They know how to do everything when you marry them, even if they're about 16 year old. They're done and know, you don't have to teach them. Mm -hmm. They come up and had it taught to them. A lot of folks, you know, way off from here, when you marry, they, they don't know how to bake a cake of cornbread with them 50. Mm -hmm. Mountain girls know that when they're 16 year old. Mm -hmm. They know how to cook and throw a meal of vittles out to you, buddy. Mm. And then they're, tr they're true people. Mm -hmm. they're, they're true people, mountain people. Mm -hmm. What do, you, what do you mean by true people? Well, when you do dealings with them, you don't need no paperwork and contracts and mm -hmm. stuff like that. They're words usually their bond. Ain't that right, Kerry? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, you need to get a few people to mess with them. I mean, you know, make them out of something. Uh, you know what? I, I, I know they have a reputation of being dangerous. Huh? I know they have a reputation. They'll kill you out if uh, if uh, if you if you mistreat them. If you mistreat them enough, they'll get you. Uh huh. Well, any, anybody's liable to kill you if you mistreat them enough. Well, I don't know. Down the flat land, that people, isn't. Some people, that, some people think you do just keep on doing things to other people and get by with it, but mm -hmm. you can't. You know, if all the birds take so much, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's right. 